rifles. I've been building custom hunting rifles for about the last 30 years, dangerous game uh, rifles for Africa, hunting Cape Buffalo, deer hunting here in the States. And as the long range precision tactical shooting has got it more and more popular, I started looking at that and I found the systems and platforms out there weren't as adaptive or adjustable as they as I thought they should have been. So I started working on the STAR system about five years ago. Now I've got it finished and coming to market. Let me tell you a few of the features uh, about the STAR rifle. And now we're going to talk a little bit about the buttstock. You have an adjustable length of pull, so if you have different height shooters, you're in different positions. Uh, you're, some guys are wearing body armor, some are not, so you adjust this to, to get a good fit against your shoulder no matter what position, how tall you are. You got a lot of clothes on, you're in a t-shirt, whatever you do, and it has the correct uh, adjustable angle depending on how much body mass you have and all of those things. And you have uh, the grooves on here serve as index marks. So if, you're, if your police department has 20 shooters, you only have one rifle, everybody can adjust this to fit them. And then you can take the lock rings here, lock it down in position uh, if, if you want it to, to where it's not movable. When you're shooting prone, a lot of times turning it up like this because your body's at a higher angle compared to the rifle and you need a different, uh, it needs to be positioned on your body different. Having the recoil pad upside down here works really well. Moving forward on the cheek piece, it's adjustable fore and aft, up and down, whatever you need here. And the idea, the reason for this is you have to keep and maintain a good cheek weld here and keep your eye straight behind the scope from no matter what position you're in. If you're shooting prone uh, or you're on a hillside, uh, you're, you're in a kneeling, a sitting, off a bench, whatever you do, the idea is to get your face planted firmly the same way every time from any position you are getting your eye straight behind the scope. Okay? Then moving forward on the star adjustment, you can loosen the star connection here and it allows complete rotation of the buttstock. Again, the reason for that, you get your eye straight behind the scope every time, no matter what position. If you, uh, if you have a, uh, a large face, uh, you know, a skinny face, you're tall, long neck, whatever you have, you can adjust this to do whatever it takes to get your eye straight behind the scope. If you continue loosening your star connection here, It makes a takedown rifle and you have no loose parts everything is contained there's nothing going to fall out and that is what makes the star buttstock the most adaptive and adjustable buttstock that's that's on the market today now we're going to talk about the receiver section of the star rifle the receiver obviously is pretty much the heart and soul of, uh, of the rifle system this was for a short action right hand savage this one's in a 308 make a long action savage uh, right hand and then I've got the receiver section for the Remingtons uh, short and long right hand short and long left hand and the back end of the star uh, of the receiver stock were attached to the butt stock and the front ends are the same regardless of what receiver you have in here that allows uh, adaptability and changeability for whatever you've got as an example you take this savage Take the butt stock off, put it on your Remington. Take the receiver set, the, the four stock off, and put it on your Remington or whatever you have. Um, as, a, as a rifle builder, most of my life, I've worked with the inadequacies and issues and problems of other stock designs and whatnot. And one of the reasons, the several reasons I designed and, and, and made it this way, it adapts to the shooter and allows a lot of other things. But from a, from a gun builder standpoint, the bedding has always been a problem. Getting it right, change it with temperature, all of those things. I've got a proprietary method in the star receiver stock that bedding is a thing of the past. 
put the receiver in, put your action screws in, torque them down, and you're done. And that's just one of several things that's unique about the Star Receiver Stock. Now we're going to talk about the four stock on the Star Rifle and its adaptive features. Your entire system has to be adaptive. You can't have a little adaptiveness here and a little here. It all has to be adaptive and it all has to work together. On the Star Rifle, it use, uh, uses a standard AR pre-floating handguard. There's thousands of them on the market, different colors, size, shapes, all those different things. Uh, and on, on this particular one, it's got the uh, rails that can be mounted and moved in different places. Uh, if you need to mount night vision here, a flashlight over here, whatever you need to mount on the front end, you can do that and uh, have that there when you need it. Going on the back end here, you've got this lock ring. And what that'll do is lock the handguard in place so if you don't want it to move, it won't move at all. Loosen it up and then it allows all of this rotation on the front. Why would you need that? Well, let's say you're shooting on some very uneven terrain. Your rifle is canted this much. You've adjusted the bipod legs out. You've got that much cant, nothing else you can do. Instead of trying to do all the mental math of calculating what a canted shot's gonna be, and you are gonna screw that up, you would loosen the lock ring, rotate the rifle level, take your shot. You have uh, horizontal and vertical support on your uh, bipod up here. And let's say you're, uh, uh, instead of taking an offhand shot, you would turn the bipod to the side and get support on the side of a tree, side of a building, whatever you have. Of course, it's left or right, depending on which side you need it to be on. And that's what, one of the things that makes the Star Rifle the most adaptive rifle stock on the market today. As you can see, the Star Rifle stock is the most adaptable and adjustive stock on the market all the way from the butt pad adjustments, the cheek piece, the star adjustment radially, the interchangeability of the receiver sections, all the things you can do with adaptability of the front end of the four stocks with the AR handguards and all the different four stocks. Put a knife force optic on there, you've got an unbeatable system. The Marines like to say, adapt, overcome, and improvise. But with this system, you adapt and overcome without having to improvise. A lot of the systems that are made out there on the market now are designed by an engineer in a cubicle who may or may not be a shooter, but he is never going to know what your situation is. You need to decide that. The STAR system allows, almost forces you to assess the situation, develop what you need, and go do the job.